G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I actually want to start a new series with you guys on my channel. I want to call it something like um, Yana Micro Reviews or Micro Reviews or Yana um, Beauty Reviews. I don't know, kind of like, you know, um, how people have hits and shits or... Um, um, I don't know, what else do they call them? Favourites and fails and, and stuff like that. That's the kind of thing that I want to go for, but I kind of like want to call it Yeah Now. You know, kind of like my channel name. Anyway, I digress. I want to talk to you guys today about uh, six products, three of them fails and three of them favourites. Or should I say three of them? Yeah, three of them nah. Anyway, if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. I think today we might actually start off with the NARS. I'm in a fantastic mood today and um, if you have seen this look in another video I do apologise. I've recorded a few today and I'm just, I'm pumped. I just want to get some content out to you guys and um, I have the time right now. So anyway, uh, as I said to you in the intro, I want to do some... Um, some yeah now nah, sort of micro reviews and I'm hoping to get this video out at least once a month. Now I don't try a lot of new products all the time but there are some products that I think deserve just a little bit more of um, a discussion other than just like my empties. I thought this would be fun. So anyway, I thought that we might start off with some of the NARS. One of the NARS is this um, Palmer's Cleansing Oil I brought. So originally I was using a the brand Simple Cleansing Oil and it was fabulous guys. It was like $10 or something like that. Absolutely loved it. And uh, But you can't buy that anymore. I can't find it anywhere and I'm so pissed. So I decided that I'd pick up this Palmer's one because it's relatively inexpensive and it seemed gentle and I normally like that sort of cocoa butter scent that Palmer's actually do. Um, so I brought this home, it's a big old bottle and I'm like, I'm pumped, right? I had makeup on like this, I wanted to get it off and I used it and I don't know, I, I had a lot on my face, I was doing everything that I was supposed to, everything that the instructions told me to do and while it was removing some makeup, I just, it left behind so much and not on, on top of that, like when I, I emulsified it with the water like you're supposed to and finally rinsed off, I still felt like I had some like slimy sort of residue sitting on my skin. Mind you, I had panda eyes as well, I still had uh, a mascara in my eyes and I just I didn't like it and as far as I'm concerned that if you can't do as good a job as a $10 one that I found before then you're a shit in my opinion so um, I really didn't enjoy this and now I've got this full bottle that I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I guess I could use it on cleansing days where I don't have makeup on but I found something that I like much better than that so I might actually hand this down to somebody else. Maybe um, it's my mascara, maybe it just, I don't know, maybe I'm using it wrong but I personally don't like this product and for me that's why it's a nah. The next NAR product for me, unfortunately, is the Carmex Watermelon Lip Balm. Now, I don't normally uh, dislike Carmex lip balms, um, you know, I don't have a problem with them at all. I think they're affordable. I like the fact that they come in a little bit of a pot. But I picked this one up and um, I don't know. I don't know whether this one was just like it had gone bad or the product is just terrible. So when I put this on to start off with, I could tell that it was a watermelon scented lip balm. And then after like maybe a minute or two, it started to taste like mold, like sh no shit, mold. It was, it was horrible. I had to wipe it off and I thought, nah, maybe it was something that I'd eaten earlier and um, I, I don't know, I, I couldn't explain it. So I thought I'd give it another go and I tried it again. And still, same thing, it just, it, it had this slight taste of mould and I just really dislike it and um, yeah, I just, I wasted my money on it and I'm disappointed and mm, I just had higher expectations for it and um, yeah, I'm, I really should go out and buy another one just to make sure that it wasn't like a, a, a bad batch or anything like that, but I don't think so, I think it's just the uh, formula, I just, just don't think it works, so um, anyway, there's that. And the third and last now nah product for me is the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Shampoo. I didn't have fun with this, guys. Um, for my, me, my hair, it absolutely hated it. While I had a little bit of trouble getting it into a lather in my hair, and I don't have a lot of hair. I used a lot of product, and it just didn't uh, lather the way that I expected it to, or much at all, to be honest with you. And then when I did rinse it out, my hair felt like wet straw. I actually mentioned this in a either upcoming video or a video that I've already just done but I really did not like this and I wouldn't recommend it um, 
yeah I mean I don't necessarily have dry or oily hair I just I think I have normal hair but yeah my, my hair didn't like this and I wouldn't recommend this one unfortunately this was a definite fail for me all right on a lighter note we're going to get on to some years some products that I really really did enjoy this month and that was the first one was the good molecules rose water cleansing gel this is a really simple product I really really did enjoy this like I think for multiple reasons, like to start off with, I saw rose water and I thought, oh no, it's going to have a heavy scent of rose like everything else does that has rose water in it. And to be honest with you, I was surprised, like I was expecting this punchy, overpowering rose scent. While I love roses, like natural roses, I don't really like rose scent in any of my products. And it didn't have that, like it had the faint, faint smell of rose, like almost to the point that I couldn't even tell that it was rose. It was floral, definitely, but not like extreme. And um, when I used this, it was just lovely. Like, it just felt really calming on the skin. My skin felt clean without being dried out. Um, it's just a really, really nice product. Now, I can't tell you whether or not this actually gets rid of makeup. I don't think it's intended to get rid of makeup. I used this as a good morning wake up cleaning uh, my face before I put on my other products or a before I'm going to bed. Um, I would use this or I would use it as a second cleanse, um, but I really did enjoy this product and I definitely am going to repurchase this one, but um, yeah, I don't know, I just, I just love this one, it's lovely. The next year product has been a year product for me for a very long time and that is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I have tried dozens and dozens and dozens of mascaras, high end, low end, you know, all these claims, hyped up, you bloody name it. Nothing compares to this. This is $10 on the first application. It looks as good as any high end mascara, if not better, you know. So, um, yeah, this, I don't know how I'm going to be able to hype this up even more. It's definitely underrated. Um, now, I'm not saying that all Essence uh, mascaras are made equally. They are not. This is the green one. I love the green one. I don't like any of the other ones. Just this one. This is fabulous. And um, I don't find that I need to do two coats. I am happy to walk out of my house with just this alone. No other makeup. One coat. Bam. Off we go. I don't have to worry about it flaking. I don't have to worry about it transferring. I don't know. I have hooded and deep set eyes and I find it very difficult a lot of the time to put mascaras on. But this one just works for me and I definitely recommend you guys go and check it out and pick yourself up some. I got mine from Target Australia. I'm not sure where else you guys are going to be able to pick it up from, especially from those in America. But you should definitely try this out before you spend any more money on high-end mascaras. And the last year product that I have is definitely new to me, but the first time I used it, I was just blown away. That is the Dermalogica Hydro Mask Exfoliant. My God, guys, this feels luxurious. And now, this is expensive, okay? This is like, I looked it up and I'm like, oh, ow. Mm, am I going to purchase this? Oh, I really, really want to. I so want to purchase this, but at $95 a tube, whew. But anyway, it definitely does what it says that it does. Uh, I put this on, it's got like little balls. It's like a cream that you put on, you massage into your face until the little balls disappear. You leave it on for three to five minutes, you wash it off. And my skin felt amazing. Like, it felt amazing. I normally have dry, dehydrated skin. It looks horrible. I have eczema. Um, I got patches on my forehead that I've seen visible, like signs of it disappearing after using this product. And, like, my skin felt clean but not dry and it had this luminosity to it, like a brightening effect to my face. And I was just like, oh, my God. Like, I absolutely love this. And, you know, I am probably going to go out, um, probably not full price. If I can get this on sale, I am definitely going to pick this up and chuck it into my skincare routine because I loved this, guys. I don't think that it's something that you would use every single day. I reckon I would do it, like, once a week, maybe twice a week. I don't know. I love it that much. But it is definitely special and you should definitely go and check it out if you don't have a problem spending that kind of money on your skincare. I have a problem spending that kind of money on myself in general. So it's not necessarily that, you know, it's, it's too expensive for everybody. It's just I get really funny about spending money on myself, especially large amounts of money, which is, hmm. But I think, I really think it's worth it, guys. I really do. But anyway, that wraps up my year and uh, uh, reviews for you guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video because I really do want to make this part of my regular sort of series, like once a month sort of series. 
let me know down below whether you like this sort of uh, format or anything like that or anything that you guys would like me to change or add to be honest with you because while I enjoy making these videos, I also make these videos predominantly for you guys so I can sort of educate you on what it does to my skin. Maybe it might have a similar effect to your skin if you have similar skin concerns as I do. I don't know. I hope you guys get something out of it. I definitely do. I love chatting with you guys. I love just everything about this. And um, I have a flight blowing around at the moment, so excuse that. And if you got anything out of this, I would really appreciate it if you guys would give me a like down below. And if you do want to see more of my content, feel free to click that subscribe button. But like I always say, if you want to get alerted every time that I do upload a video, go ahead and check that bell. It will notify you every single time. If you want to catch up with me, not just in the comments below here, you can also catch me over on Instagram where I will always respond as soon as I see your message. Um, yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye.